Okay, now we're going to step into authentication. What's the difference between user authentication and account track? Authentication is something you want to use when you want to walk up to the machine and maybe everyone is allowed to print black, but if they want to print color, they have to put in a code. Or you would use authentication when, um, you know, there's more involved than just uh, tracking what's being printed and what's being copied. So it just goes to a deeper level. So I'm going to turn user authentication on and I'm going to say on MFP. The other options are external server or main external server. And then it's going to ask me user authentication. I'll have it on public user access. If I allow it without login, that'll allow anyone to come up. A public user can use it without logging in. Let's say we have color restricted. If I click color, it's going to actually, it's going to ask me for a, it's going to request a pop up. We could also add account track as well. That'll give two layers of account tracking and authentication. I'm going to keep that off. When number of jobs reach maximum, skip job, ticket holding, I'm not going to change those. So I'm going to click OK. Yes, clear all my data. All right, the data is being processed. So now if I exit out, I'm on the public user. Right now, if I go to copy, I can still do color because we have not put any restrictions on. So I'm going to go back into utility. I'm going to go back into administrator settings. User authentication, and now I'm going to go user authentication settings, user registration, and I'm going to create a color account. So anyone that has this code can log in and print color. All right, so I set up a color account. Now what we need to do is we need to restrict to the public user. To find the public user, you actually click up and right there you will, it's hidden. I'll click on public, I'll click edit. I'm gonna say function permission and the public user can only copy black, they cannot scan, and they can only print in black. I am letting them use the user box, they can fax, and I'll let them scan to external memory as well. So now if I close all the way out, I'm logged in as public. As you see, there's only copy and user box. If I log in, I click access. It's going to ask me to log in. My username was color and my user password was 123. If I log in, so now as you see, I'm logged in as a color. If I go to copy, I am allowed to do color where if I log out, I'm going to click access. Are you sure you want to log out? Click yes. Now I'm back to public. So if I go in and I click color, it actually asks me. So at this point, it is case sensitive. Oops. And then it logs me right in and turns color on. Again, if I log out, it takes me back, whoops, takes me back and I'm not allowed to scan.